I'm ready for spring. Even though I have this nice indoor plant room, the winter scaries got to me. So I did some reorganizing today and I moved a bunch of my fig trees and a couple citrus trees to this big window. I have a lemon tree right here. It's a Meyer lemon. It's even got a little lemon forming on it. And then I also have a little key lime tree here that I wanted to get next to the light. A bunch of fig trees of tons of different varieties that have started to actually put on growth here in late February. They're getting ready for spring and you can see the leaves coming out of the tips of the branches there a black mission variety uh, lsm improved celeste variety and they're really putting on quite a bit of growth surprising amount of growth actually for this early in the season they're a couple years old several of them there's a hardy chicago fig, fig which does really well in winter there's one that's a few years old I have tons of different varieties of figs it's gonna be a lot of fun to put these outside and see how they do this spring. This is an avocado tree that I put along with the rest of these other larger container varieties right here. And I'm really looking forward to getting outside into some warmer weather. In my sunroom here, I have, these are all large, long avocado trees that I just started from putting pits in these large pots. And I have a variety of other indoor house plants growing in them as well. So this bright room really helps to ward off the winter scaries. And you can see there's some new growth there on the top of one of these avocado trees. I have a bunch of little vining plants down below. And then I've got these spider plants hanging here in the corner of the window. I still have this DIY Christmas tree up. I was gonna put it outside for the wildlife to feed off, but I haven't done that yet. So it's hanging out in the corner for now. And yesterday was a beautiful day. I was walking around barefoot and today there is snow on the ground. So it kind of put a damper in my spring sowing plan. But despite the snow on the ground today, yesterday I was able to sow a few plants. So in this trench down here i sowed sugar snap peas and my plan is to grow them up these dead sunflower stalks and they're really tall taller than me for sure this one that i'm holding right here is uh, about as tall as i can reach up and the other one to the right is even taller but i'm thinking to grow vining peas up this and then fill in the gaps with string if they need some extra support to create this little mesh network for the peas and then i did the same thing over here i dug that trench and planted peas this is a dead sunflower and a dead cosmos flower stalk and i could put string in between those as well i did the same thing on all of these dead corn stalks a couple different varieties of peas some that only grow a couple feet high and i have kind of some homemade natural makeshift trellises here you can see that i'm adding the peas to and just the corn stalks alone i'm hoping we'll be able to support some of the growth of the peas then in the front yard i did the same thing i sowed a lot of peas on this arch right here in front of my house in that trench down there so i'm hoping the peas will just grow up that lattice work right there this is an arch i made with just some branches from a tree on my property and then these dead cosmo stalks i also sowed peas and i'm going to fill in the gaps with string on those and that is a little circle area in the front of my yard that's filled mostly with flowers. 